right, it has been days since a mysterious missile-like vapor trail was record recorded off California's coast, and the federal government still can't provide a concrete answer as to what it is. Now, the Pentagon says that they are satisfied it was, quote, likely caused by an aircraft. And while we wait for the truth, a number of other theories are making the rounds. And here to submit just a few are retired U.S. Air Force Lieutenant General uh, Tom McInerney is with us, National Security and War Correspondent for the Washington Examiner Sarah Carter and investigative journalist Richard Miniter. All right, c conventional wi uh, wisdom, uh, General McInerney, is that all right, this is an airplane. I, I, I'm willing to listen to that. But don't we need to know what aircraft it was, where it was flying, where it took off, what time? Why can't we get a definitive answer? Do you agree with that assertion? Well, first of all, I do not agree with the assertion, Sean. And your question is, we should get a definitive answer. You're absolutely correct. Look, this is not an airplane because of the plume and the way you see that plume. Airplanes do not con at sea level or 5,000 feet like that. I spent 35 years flying fighters, and I never saw an airplane con like that. That is a missile. It's launched from a submarine, and it, you can see it go through a correction course, and then it gets a very smooth trajectory, meaning that the guidance system is now kicked in. It's going at about a 45 degrees away from you. That's why you're not seeing a lot of vertical you are, uh, velocity. Are, are, General, are you 100 percent certain? Sean, I've, I've watched that film 10 times. I've watched 15 other Trident films, SM-3, uh, Standard Missile 3s, and TLAM launches. Uh, I am absolutely certain that that is not an aircraft. Sarah, we're told this is an optical illusion, that it's, you really got to see it in its context, that everyone seemed to buy into the conventional wisdom. Now, I listen to General McInerney, who has a tremendous amount of background and experience. He says something very different. Your reaction? Well, you know, I'm, I, I haven't just heard it from the general. I've been hearing this from other sources as well, and, and I'm also hearing the other side. I'm, I'm not an expert here on aircraft and trajectories. I think the general is much more an expert than I. He's an aviator, and, and he understands aircraft, and he understands missile systems. I contacted NORAD today. I spoke with officials at NORAD, and the one thing they did tell me is that it was not a missile, but they did not give any other explanation as to what this I could be. And so... It leaves, it leaves me to wonder if our Defense Department and our, and our folks at NORAD have no idea for the last day and a half what this is. So uh, a speculation is out there. Mr. Well, Minister, the Pentagon was very clear that this was not a, a foreign-launched uh, product, that they had been, not been observing right. any uh, launches uh, from any naval Do you naval think that's aircraft. an airplane, Richard? I, you know, I don't know. It's, it could possibly be an airplane. It could be a, a toy rocket mm -hmm. launched as a test. I mean, we're going to throw out a toy rocket? That looks like a toy well, rocket to you? Well, we don't have anything to look at the scale. And if you do, if you look at uh, a terror like cell, a toy it wants rocket to, to me. <laughs> well, <laughs> some of those toys are pretty sophisticated, Sean. But if you were a terror cell, you wanted to test America's defenses. I don't know what your parents gave you for Christmas, but that is no toy rocket. I mean, it's either an airplane or it's a missile, in my mind. And the, the, <laughs> I, I, I got to be honest. There's, there's something. Look, I, I, I'm willing to accept that there are optical illusions. I'm willing to accept that this might be something else. This might have been an aircraft. I'm, I'm, I'm not a conspiracy theorist. But when I hear General McInerney here with, with his background, his expertise, uh, him being a pilot and his definitive answer that this is a missile, I'm, I'm kind of nervous that maybe my government's covering something up here. Look, well, I, like I, Tom, but I, just, I can't are. imagine that this is a foreign submarine launching a missile off the coast of the United States. Does that look like and, an airplane and, to you? Well, it could be an airplane, but I mean, it, all, it I also agree. could be. It could it, be an airplane. I totally it agree. It could be a bunch of kids on a boat with a, you know, pranking, uh, launching uh, something. Richard. Or, or it could be an experimental Richard, this, this uh, is not aircraft. Kids, this is not a Roman candle, for crying out loud. I mean, <laughs> I don't know what, this is not a silver jet. This, this, this thing is... Well, did you see just, just six months ago, a, 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 several of British kids were able to put Christmas? something in orbit? Well, General, you know, here's I mean, the date. Here's the, if, if, in fact, this is a missile, then we've got ourselves a major national security threat here. Well, look, I do not think it's a foreign threat. Uh, NORAD uh, made that point clear. Is I it do possible we fired off a missile? Absolutely. The Pentagon denies it. The What's Pentagon happened? denies it. That it. If it's a black program, a, a classified program, and for whatever reason, 
and i don't know why because you're asking the right questions